Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from system of equations. x plus y plus z is 10, 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z is 1, xy plus yz plus zx is 32. So let's get started by considering equation 1, equation number 2 and this will be equation number 3. Now I will begin with our equation 2. So I can write 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z. This is equal to 1. So here I will multiply with yz in the numerator and denominator. So denominator will become xyz plus 1 over y will be xz over xyz plus 1 over z will be xy over xyz. Now our denominator is same. We can simply add the numerator written variable terms. So I will write here yz plus zx plus xy in the numerator and denominator is xyz equal to 1. So we can write yz plus zx plus xy equal to x, y, z. So x, y, z of course cannot be 0. x, comma y, comma z cannot be equal to 0. So x, y, z will be y, z plus z, x plus x, y which is our equation number 3. So I can write x, y, z will be equal to 32. Now I will write three equations x plus y plus z equal to 10, xy plus yz plus zx equal to 32 and third equation is xyz equal to 32. Let me write here x plus y plus z equal to 10, xy plus yz plus zx equal to 32 and product of x, y, z equal to 32. Now you can think about one cubic equation whose roots are x, y and z. Then this is sum of roots. This is sum of roots taken two at a time. And this is product of roots. So we can write one cubic equation in variable t whose roots are x, y and z minus sum of roots. So x plus y plus z times t square plus sum of roots taken two at a time. So x, y plus y, z plus z, x times t minus product of roots. So minus x, y, z equal to 0. This is how we can produce one cubic equation just by knowing sum of roots, product of roots and sum of roots taken two at a time. Now we are going to apply x plus y plus z 10, x, y plus y, z plus z, x 32 and x, y, z 32 we will get cubic t cube minus 10 times t square plus 32 times t minus 32 equal to 0. Now equation is cubic. We can use method of synthetic division. So I will write equation here first. t cube minus 10t square plus 32t minus 32 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem first. So we have to find out eligible factors of constant 32. So I can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8, 
plus minus 16 plus minus 32 and leading coefficient is nothing is written means 1 is there so we can write here plus minus 1 now we have to consider the ratio of constant to leading coefficient factor so i will plug in t equal to 1 first so t cube means 1 cube is 1 minus 10 times 1 is square 10 32 times 1 32 then we have minus 32 so this addition is not coming out 0 so we will say t cannot be equal to 1 for our cubic equation now i will plug in t equal to negative 1 let's check whether it will satisfy or not so minus 1 cube is minus 1 minus 10 times minus 1 is square so we'll write minus 10 here 32 times minus 1 is minus 32 minus 32 it is not satisfying equation now we will plug in t equal to 2 so 2 cube is 8 this time minus 10 times 2 is square so 10 times 4 is 40 plus 32 times 2 64 minus 32 so 8 plus 64 is 72 minus 40 minus 32 is minus 72 so this time it is satisfying our equation we will say t equal to 2 is our base solution now we can use synthetic division method so we will write all the coefficients of cubic equation coefficient of t cube is 1 coefficient of t square is minus 10 coefficient of t is 32 constant is minus 32 so we will write 1 minus 10 32 minus 32 with base solution t equal to 2 let me write all the coefficients 1 minus 10 32 minus 32 with base solution t equal to 2 we'll put one line over there leading coefficient 1 we will write as it is 1 now we have to multiply our base solution number with this leading coefficient number 2 times 1 is 2 now we have to add these two numbers minus 10 plus 2 is minus 8 again we will do the same job 2 times minus 8 will give us minus 16 addition of these two will give us 16 2 times 16 is 32 once we will add these two we will get 0 so these are coefficients for quadratic equation so i can write quadratic equation t square minus 8t minus 16 equal to 0 this is plus so this is one formula if we will say this is t minus 4 whole square equal to 0 so i can write here t will be equal to 4 and 4 base solution is 2 quadratic solution is 4 and 4 so in total we have got three roots of cubic equation 2 4 and 4 so i will write here t equal to 2 t equal to 4 and t equal to 4 now we can write our answer in ordered triplet so i will write x comma y comma z here i will write 2 comma 4 comma 4 x is 2 y is 4 z is 4 then we can consider second combination 4 comma 2 comma 4 x is 4 y is 2 z is 4 then we will consider our third and last combination 4 comma 4 comma 2 so we will get three triplets i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.